What's up you guys, this is Gabe, and, Kayla. and if you guys know me and my history of lumpia wrapping, I don't have the best reputation. Look at that little rip in my lumpia, that's not good, that is not good, but the other day I was actually searching on Amazon and I actually typed in lumpia wrapper and I came across this item right here and I watched a couple of YouTube videos on it and I thought it would actually come in handy for our future lumpia roll parties. So in this video, we're gonna do a little unboxing and then we're gonna try it out, see if it even works and if it's something that you guys wanna try out for yourself. So, should we get started? <coughs> I have not watched any videos on this, so I have no idea how this works. The videos I watched, it actually looks like it would be pretty handy. It's a pretty easy setup. All you gotta do is kinda push the roller forward and it kinda wraps the stuffing in the lumpia and rolls the, the wrapper on its own. So. Okay, so the, the demonstration picture shows Stuffed cabbage. Right, stuffed cabbage, but. which, you know, I feel like it would work with a, a lumpia wrapper too, but pretty much this is called the Dolmer apparatus for wrapping Dolma stuffed cabbage. That's, that's what the description says. And right here you can see it has the instructions where you just kind of put it in and then you roll it. So we'll go ahead and open it up and see what kind of accessories it comes with. So was it pretty inexpensive or? Uh, yeah, it was not that much at all. So we'll see cool. here. I'm gonna. I feel like if it's it. worth it, like if it works, I feel like that's definitely gonna be Oh yeah. It. And that's, that's pretty much it. This is all that came in the box. There's no uh, kind of loose accessories or anything like that. Okay, so it's basically this plastic form here and then it's almost like a ribbon here. It's almost I'm, like silk. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, interesting. And then it has this something that looks like you push it. Okay, obviously I'm not doing it right. So what do you do? Huh. Okay, so what it looks like is it has this space right here where it's like flat, this ribbon, and then you push the ribbon down right here and it um, it divots in there. And so I'm assuming you'd put your lumpia wrapper and then all the stuffing right here and then um, it looks like you fold it over and then it's gonna pop out right on the bottom. Does that make sense? So here, you put your stuffing in, you push this over, it wraps it all up and then plops it out right here. It looks like you can kind of snap this out and I don't wanna break it. Okay, I feel like I'm gonna break Just it. Just pull it out. Okay, you can snap out this ribbon attachment and you can make it smaller and larger depending on how much stuffing it looks like uh, you wanna put in your lumpia there. So so let's go ahead and see if we can test this out with, I think, what are we making today, Kayla? Some hamburger lumpia? Is we're gonna make some cheeseburger lumpia. Cheeseburger lumpia, lumpia. okay, that, this should be perfect. All right guys, so we're back. We have our ingredients for our cheeseburger lumpia. We have our meat and cheese and our lumpia wrappers right here. And then I just finished washing this. I just used hot soap and water and it seemed to do fine and wipe off the counter, so we're ready to go. Based off of those pictures, we kind of put it flat right here and then okay. we're gonna put some stuffing right in the middle here, just like that, Okay. just like so. This is okay. so interesting. Yeah, yeah. And okay, that's these too much. Yeah, yeah, that's a little too much. Based off of um, the kind of width of this, I feel like these lumpias are gonna be pretty small, so I won't put too much here, just a, a little bit. All right, so here it is, Kayla, the moment of truth. This could revolutionize my lumpia wrapping forever. Are you ready for this? It shows them just like, it shows them just like fanned out okay. like that. So, so. We're, gonna, we're gonna try this first. It might, this might take us a couple tries, guys, so here we go. And three, two, one. Oh, that was a fail. What happened? I, I think what I didn't do there is I didn't stuff it in. So you have to oh, stuff it okay, into okay. the hole. So second attempt oh, at the I got it. Oh, okay. there you go. Do you that see how makes far it down really that is? It's like yeah. way down there. That, there's really a crevice there, so it should be able to wrap pretty so nicely. So pretty much you're stuffing it down in the hole and right. then covering over the top of correct, it. Correct, correct. Okay. okay, here we go. Let's try this again. Three, two, one. Oh, oh, come on. Oh, okay. I had my oh. had my uh, doubts there, but in, okay. Okay, so it's like this, and it's not holding together because there's no water. Okay. There's no water, so. So you need to like seal it. As soon as it comes out, maybe you just like. Yeah. So it. let's let's get that water there. But I feel like if you're doing a lot, like a lot of times when people make lumpia, they're making a whole bunch for a party. Right. And so if one person's sitting here and like stuffing it and like sliding it, and the other person's grabbing right. them out and putting water on, I yeah. feel like that's not bad. Yeah. And these these lumpias are are pretty pretty tiny. I don't know if it's the amount of stuffing I put in there, but that's 
that's pretty small. So let's go ahead and try another one and see if we can uh, figure yeah. this out here. Okay, so I'm gonna I'm gonna put a little bit of meat here. Yep. So I feel like you put a good amount of stuffing in right, it. Right. So I'm gonna shove it down in that little hole. Hey, little guy. Okay. I'm gonna put a, a few pieces of cheese in yeah, here. I, I don't want to like overstuff it. I would put more cheese in there. More cheese? I think based off of how that roll felt, I think it would be good if you put a little bit more. That so you can good. see yeah. I stuffed it in there. Okay, so I'm gonna go. So it covered it. Yeah. Oh, this is so interesting. Yeah, right when you get to the middle, it starts to glide. There you go. Okay. Oh, okay. interesting. There, it just, it just oh. kind of latches out. It's like a vending machine. Oh. It's like a lumpia this vending machine. That was pretty oh, good. mine was good. I think you put more put, stuffing in there. I didn't put any water on it. You guys! Yeah. <gasps> yeah. Yours is a lot. Mine's like really flimsy. And I you don't, put water on yours. Right. I didn't. Is it because you put more stuffing in there? I wonder if I that was I think I shoved mine way down there. Right, okay. So it's all it's all about the, the shove factor. It did it! Yeah, that's pretty cool. It came out so cute. Yeah, and I, I think the triangles work. Why am I so surprised it worked? <laughs> yeah, that's that's actually a pretty good... I mean, aesthetically, it's... I like it. They're so cute. They don't look like how like a human would wrap it. But, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but, I um, But I feel like it's wrapped. Right, I, I do too. I do too. And somebody who you, like, who can't usually do it very well. Right, okay. So this is the full one because i'm using the full one here i'm really gonna stuff it full of meat and cheese so you're sticking the corners out okay got it yeah so i'm going like this okay remember you shove it way in there yep shoving it way in there so that's a quite a bit of meat i mean i think you need to push it yeah oh yeah, oh yeah there you go yeah there's a lot of room you can i can probably fit even more meat in here let's go ahead yeah. and put like a second layer of meat right there there you go oh, oh, oh. You gotta, you stuff it more. Yeah, you gotta stuff it more. You you really gotta yeah. punch it in there. Okay. okay. There you go. Uh, uh, okay. Hold on. There you go. Come on. Come out. A little bit too much stuffing. Oh. Okay. That fell out. So I feel like that was too full. Too, yeah, maybe so. Too maybe full. so. Yeah. Okay. Note to self don't overstuff. The lumpia. <laughs> really gonna stuff it in there. Kay. Good, just like that. Let's try this one more time. Okay. Okay. And I'm gonna make sure that stays in. Okay. Yeah. So that that made a difference here. There you go. Ooh. Oh, that. Oh, that that's actually. Nice. That is nice. Yeah. So you the can, whole lumpia wrap. Right. Around. So that is a pretty nice lumpia roll right there. That is. Yeah, and it doesn't even need water. I mean, you could dab a little bit of water on there, but using the full lumpia wrapper, it's actually a more kind of aesthetically pleasing lumpia wrap there. You got it. I'm not strong enough. There you go. There you go. You got it. Almost there. I feel like we're giving birth. I know. <laughs> yes. See, it just you gotta okay, so gotta give it some force. Yeah. And that was really easy. So that yeah, there was no struggle there. It's Still a little flimsy, but that's the hardest part is the yeah. rolling. So now we'll move that out of the way. We'll try to do it by hand, and I actually want to try to recreate it being that small. So we'll see okay. how they compare here. I don't know, to, to you is building your own by hand, uh, is it more satisfying than uh, kind of using the, the machine there or? I don't know if do satisfying think? is the word, but I feel like with the little, with the machine, I feel like you have to fill it anyways. Right. So the only thing it's doing is like wrapping it up where, I don't feel like that takes that much effort, but I feel like for you, you struggle a little yeah, bit more with wrapping. Yeah, so, and, and that's where, that's why I feel like I uh, kind of like the use of the machine is because to me, that wrapping is the hardest part. So if I, if I was using the machine right now, like this would be, this part would be done, but since I have to like stuff it and roll it by hand, um, I feel like the machine could probably outpace me wrapping it by hand by, by like two times, like two times the speed. All right, all of our lumpias are wrapped up. We'll go ahead and put some oil on it and pop it in the air fryer. 
So as you can see here, there are the hand wrap lumpias and then the ones that were wrapped by the machine. You can tell the ones that were wrapped by the machine were a lot looser and not holding together as well. So we went ahead and fried these in our Mojave air fryer, which has worked really well for everything we've used it for. Okay guys, so this just finished. We cooked these lumpia in the air fryer and we are going to see the difference between the hand wrapped ones and the ones that we used our new device for. So let's check them out. Smells good. Ooh, okay, so you can definitely tell which ones are the hand wrapped ones and which ones were wrapped by the machine. So you can see like this one has like a little bit of flyaways, same as this one. Um, from the rolling machine, but this one was wrapped by the machine and it looks really nice. So it could be user error also. Okay guys, we got our lumpia all divided between us. Like I said, so these lumpia were kind of wrapped um, with our lumpia maker here. And I actually like it. I thought uh, they don't look like the traditional lumpia. They almost look like sort of like a croissant lumpia. So it's kind of like a different style of lumpia. Again, with lumpia, it's all about the taste. So we'll kind of see how this tastes here. For example, this is one of the lumpias that I rolled and I feel like it held together really well. It's easier to pick up. Um, I would say if you're fairly decent at making lumpia or rolling it yourself, it's probably faster and easier to do it yourself. And I disagree just because I know uh, I'm kind of lumpia wrapper inclined. So I feel like the lumpia maker would be really beneficial for someone who has little experience or who's just not really good at wrapping lumpia. I feel like I can get twice as many out with that lumpia wrapper than if I were to do it by hand. So actually this probably would work really well for us if you were using the machine and I was just doing it by hand and we right. can probably get a lot done at one time. Probably, yeah. And and for how inexpensive it is, mm -hmm. why not give it a try? Again, if you guys are interested in making lumpia, I, I highly recommend the lumpia maker. That We'll put the link in the description down below if you want to order it online. I think that it's time to try this out. We made cheeseburger lumpia. We yeah. had ground beef with um, a little bit of seasoning and cheese in here. And then we have our array of sauces. Look at that, guys. It's like a work of art right there. I cannot wait to dig in. All right guys, this is our first time to test the lumpia made by the lumpia wrapper maker thingamajig. So here <laughs> we go, Kayla. We've called it something different this entire I know. time. Are and you... we're, we're both eating one of them. Yes, okay, so. Wait, I gotta mix my sauce. Okay. All right, cheeseburger lumpia, here we go. Cheers. Cheers. Mm. Mm. Oh wow. Yep. Cheeseburger. Mm -hmm. That's a cheeseburger. Mm. That's good. Hmm. Wow, you cannot go wrong with this. This is really good. I feel like the kids are going to love this. I do too. And I kind of like the way that the lumpia maker kind of made this uh, wrapping because it has a lot of like little wing tips and adds a nice like texture, like a nice crunch that you don't get when you hand wrap it. I will say it does. Those little flyaways get really crispy in the air fryer mm. and um, it does give a little extra crunch. It's I do, pleasant. I yeah. do like that. Mm -hmm. All right guys, thanks for watching this video on us unboxing the Lumpia Maker. Again, if you wanna check out all of the products we used in this video, we'll leave a link in the descriptions down below. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe. See you next time, bye.